it's kind of one of those things that you almost wish man hadn't discovered, kind of like nuclear weapons. Just kind of by comparison, uh, jalapeno peppers on the Scoville unit are about 7,000 to 9,000 Scovilles, um, and ghost peppers are a million. It's, it, it's kind of cool that Matt challenged me with this because I'm very interested in how um, you know, food plays along with, with science a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, in, in more, you know, less of a molecular gastronomy, although I do enjoy some of that to a certain extent, but more in a, you know, this is why an egg cooks a certain way, or this is why, you know, the proteins bind a certain way, or, um, you know, this is how you make a pepper that most people wouldn't, I mean, I'm not even going to touch them, I'm wearing gloves with them the whole time, um, you know, how you make it edible enough to where you can enjoy it, and it's not just overpowering heat. Those are the ghost chilies in the vodka. Those are the raw. I also vacuum sealed some ghost chilies because I wanted to see if maybe that would help pull some of the cap capsaicin out. Those are vac sealed with uh, with vodka also. And then we've got the candied ghost chilies there. So I'm just gonna take this and uh, sear it, roast it on the grill to get a nice charred flavor. So we're just gonna char them and then uh, peel the skin off and then cut out the seeds and the uh, veins to kind of get it as close as possible as we can to heat free. So capsaicin is soluble in uh, fat, so oil or other types of fats. And then it's also, um, done through alcohol. So we've got two dishes kind of, well one dish and a cocktail going on. We're gonna do, I, I, I did some of them in, in vodka to kind of pull some of the heat out. Um, so we're gonna try those and we're gonna use the vodka for a Bloody Mary. So this is our cone feed uh, bacon. I don't know why we need to intensify the <laughs> the fattiness of bacon anymore, but it, it does taste really good. And I was like, I, I think he gave me the wrong ones. I took just a, you know, a little bit of the end, took a little bit of bigger. I'm like, yeah, I just, I don't taste anything. And then I took a big chunk and I put it in my mouth and within about three seconds, I felt the heat and I spit it right back out and grabbed vanilla ice cream and shoved that <laughs> in my mouth until it went away. And here we go. The whole reason for using the bone marrow and the bacon is, is to get the fat so that it kind of mellows out all the flavors on the tongue. So the, the salsa is probably going to be really intense, um, but I'm hoping that with the other fatty aspects of it, it's going to kind of spread it out over the, over the palate. Uh, so we've got some quail eggs. They're whole. Oop. Yeah. There's definitely heat, but it's not nearly as bad as I think what you would expect. Really? Yeah. Not overpowering? Mm-mm. That's got a kick. <laughs> I'll do a little bit. There's some heat there. <laughs> yeah. Eel is one of those obscure things that, you know, either you've worked with it or you haven't. Um, you know, it comes in alive and you, and you have to kill it. And I figured that'd be fun for him. Having his background being in, in Spanish food, um, you know, I was interested to, to see what he could do with it because they use a lot of that in, in Spanish cooking. <laughs>